Whoa, 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 whoa. Before this video starts, I want you guys to know that I am very sorry about how I treated Windows 8 in the first place. On my first ever video, I guess you would say, I made a video about Windows 8 and trying to install it on my Windows 7 computer. But I made one grave mistake while installing it. I used the upgrade option. Now a lot of you did point this out that I didn't install it correctly, in which you are correct, I didn't. I used the upgrade option which basically is the most bugged version of Windows 8's installation. So in reality what I really want to say is, I'm sorry for misusing Windows 8. Now if you don't believe me that I got a few comments saying that I did this wrong or I did that wrong, or I installed something wrong, just wait until you see these damn comments. Alright, let's not get too over the top here. You know what, how about we actually try installing Windows 8 correctly this time? I'm sure that'll make everybody happy. Also, thank you guys for 800 subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. Now let's get started with installing Windows 8 the correct way. You guys already know the first step of installing any operating system is to boot it off of something, whether it's a floppy disk, DVD, or a USB. Unfortunately, I had the opportunity to experience Windows Vista before installing Windows 8, so I was glad I was going to get that over with. It was incomprehensible. What was God up to? Moving on, Windows 8 took some time to boot up, but after a few minutes or so, it came out perfectly fine. The Windows 8 installation screen also has a few elements from like Windows 10, Windows 7 with these weird interfaces. But basically, Windows 8's installation just kind of looks like Windows 10. But now, we're downloading Windows 8. And it's time to wait. And at last, Windows 8 is finally done installing. I'll be honest, I think it was a good like 20 minutes that I waited for it. I think in the meantime, I also made pancakes. Here's the image. Now getting into Windows 8's setup is almost like Windows 10. All these privacy options, whether they want to collect data from you or not, I automatically put no for all of them. Then after that, I created an account and I was actually pretty surprised that they didn't force you to use a Microsoft account. This is genuinely Microsoft's first dub, honestly. Moving on for waiting for the setup, the desktop felt very familiar with me like with some past experience I've had with this operating system. Something I did notice about Windows 8 is that the taskbar still has its little arrow glass theme on it. I wonder why they actually kept that in. Perhaps they were just trying to leave some Windows 7 features or maybe introduce some Windows arrow glass theme for Windows 8 which is still possible by the way with some third-party software you can use moving on something that I can actually give to Windows 8 is how beautiful the sound scheme is it's just ear pleasing anyway moving on from that weird video I decided to include I decided to put in my Wi-Fi USB and see what I could do and of course the first thing that decides to open up is a shitty ass browser Internet Explorer I love how it tries to imply that I should give Microsoft Edge like it's any better. Like I mentioned from my Windows 7 video, the GOAT and the GOAT of all browsers, Firefox still supports Windows 8.1. Do I see any of your browsers doing that shit? Nope. Now I do want to fast forward for most of this part because I was trying to look for drivers for my GPU that I installed and apparently I thought it was a GTX 670, which was absolutely not correct. It was this really niche card that I've gotten from the garbage, which exactly took me two hours to figure out what graphics card this was. So in the meantime, while I wasn't doing that, I was actually trying to check out some of the Metro apps. If you don't know what a Windows 8 Metro app is, it's basically a type of application that is designed specifically for Windows 8's interface and you know just later versions of Windows. These apps were basically the downfall of Windows 8 because of their full screen touch friendly design for these stupid tablets. A lot of people showed some dislike for these apps because of all the Microsoft signing in you had to do. But me personally, I like the design and animations of these Metro apps. Unfortunately, most of these Metro apps don't work due to being out of support or just requiring a Microsoft login. And even if you log in, it's still not going to work. Anyway, just moving off from the bloatware we were just talking about, aka the Metro apps. Let's do some gaming. As per usual, the first game I have to test out is Peggle. If an operating system cannot run Peggle, then it's not a good operating system. But as you can see here, Windows 8 actually runs it pretty well with this graphics card. If you're wondering how I got the graphics card drivers, I legit just waited and Windows 8 decided to install the drivers on its own. So for most of these games, I try to play as much as I could before I got bored and then I would check the temps. The temps looked mild at most. 
the CPU being at 60 Celsius for some reason, but the GPU was at somewhere near 43-ish 39. Which is pretty normal for a GPU like this, because they actually can operate under 80, 90, or 70 Celsius, which is pretty crazy. But now, let's play some more demanding games. Call of Duty Black Ops 1. By the way, if you're wondering what this DG Voodoo watermark means, it's basically some open end software that forces your game to focus on your GPU so you get better performance. Anyway, let's continue with the video. Born is who you are. What's your name? Fuck you. Where were you born? Kiss my ass. Ah! All jokes aside, this game ran pretty well for a 2007 game, especially on an old GPU that I don't even know the name of. To be fair, Black Ops 1 is fairly old, so it would run on any good GPU out there. For most of the recording, I was just only playing campaign. I couldn't play zombies because the copy I got was bugged out. But with bad news comes even more bad news. Apparently throughout most of my recording, my phone got so hot that it started thermal throttling and it thermal throttled so bad to the point where the recording started stretching. I actually have zero idea how this even works by the way. So just half of the recording is now just my screen being stretched while I was playing Minesweeper. But you know what my message is? Fuck you motherfuckers at Google. You guys make some of the worst phones ever and yet I'm still forced to use it But alas as all problems come along you have to have a solution and my solution was to record new footage So now let's actually play some zombies As I installed World at War I made another mistake getting an older version of this game This meaning I wasn't able to play zombies off the rip But I did find a way to get around this by typing devmap Nazi underscore zombie underscore prototype and by using this we're able to bypass the campaign and play zombies now from this point forward I've played this game numerous amount of times on different computers and hardware and I'll say this is probably one of the best experiences I've had especially with this size of monitor and the specs I have it just felt like I was back in like 2012 also something I really love about this game is the sound design just hearing the zombies run around screaming just it feels so surreal <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Windows 8 is pretty capable of doing modern heavy tasks, such as games, browsing, and just doing everyday tasks. I also tried ARMCord, which is Discord used for older operating systems. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get our final thoughts on Windows 8. Drum roll, please. Should you daily drive Windows 8? Yes! Windows 8 is actually not that bad for what it gives you. If you want an operating system with a slight compatibility with Windows 10, but also has the feeling of Windows 7, Windows 8 will definitely be your best bet. And now I hope you guys all accept my apology, and understand that Windows 8 is not as bad as people say it is. Anyway, enough blabbering, I'll see you guys in the next one.